Let's see how to make this delicious boneless chicken biryani which is very similar to Meghna boneless chicken biryani you get in Bangalore and yes it's easy to make and tastes amazing when made at home too. Here in a bowl I've taken 500 grams or close to 1 pound of chicken breast which are cut into cubes. I'm marinating it with some salt, turmeric powder, half a tablespoon of Kashmiri chilli powder and half a tablespoon of normal chilli powder. Some homemade biryani masala powder, chilli paste, corn flour, ginger garlic paste and one egg. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and click the bell icon for the notifications to come up whenever I upload new videos and also don't forget to comment, like or dislike at the end of the video. Mix it well and let it rest for 30 minutes to 1 hour. Meanwhile, let's cook the rice we need for the biryani. Here I am using my instant pot. In case you are using a cooker, then cook it just for 2 whistles. I am setting instant pot on saute mode and adding 2-3 to three tablespoon of ghee along with all the whole spices and bay leaves. Then adding in some ginger garlic paste, mint leaves and coriander leaves which are chopped, sliced onions, few green chilies as per taste and 3 tablespoon of curd. Once it's mixed well, adding in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, you may use food color too and a tablespoon of biryani masala. Now adding in washed and soaked basmati rice which is around 1.5 cups and mixing it well. Then adding 2 and 1 4 cup of water, some salt and mixing it well. Once you see it boiling, close the instant pot lid and slide the vent to ceiling. Cancel the saute mode and setting minor pressure for 4 minutes. Meanwhile the chicken is well marinated, let's deep fry them or you may choose to bake them which is more healthier. Once the chicken is cooked completely, remove from the oil and set it aside and repeat the same for the rest of the chicken. All the chicken is fried and have set it aside. Now I am preparing chicken masala required for the biryani in the same kadai after removing the excess oil. Adding in ginger garlic paste, finely chopped onions and few slit green chilies. Once onions turn lightly brown, adding in few mint leaves and coriander leaves. Now I am adding half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of chilli powder and 2 teaspoon of biryani masala. Now add in the tomatoes that are finely chopped and cooking it well by adding some salt. Once tomatoes are cooked, add in the fried chicken and mix it well. Lastly, add in some cashew nut paste and boil for around 10 minutes. After it is cooked well, it is ready to serve on top of the biryani rice. My instant pot was on keep warm for just 10 minutes. I am cancelling it, quick releasing the pressure and opening the lid. Mix the rice gently and it's done. Now let's assemble the biryani. First add in the biryani rice then top it with fried chicken masala we prepared and squeeze some lemon on top of it. And our delicious boneless chicken biryani is ready to enjoy. Please do try it out and leave me a comment like or dislike. Also if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification on my new uploads. Thank you.